All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal in Ascend Tarot. So today is going to be a pick a card reading for how does your person currently feel about you right now. Um, if you guys want to book something personal, my information is down below in the description box as well as access to guided meditations, online courses, and I have just launched the Anxiety Relief Crystal Set. Okay, so for those of you who are interested in the crystal sets, it's on um, the website right now. There is limited quantities, so if you are interested um, and you live in either Canada or the U.S., because that's the only place that I'm shipping right now, um, then you can purchase on the website. Okay, so all of the information is there, but if you guys have any questions, definitely feel free to email me. Um, but yeah, so that's the announcements that I have for this morning. So we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. So this is malachite, we have rose quartz, and we have opalite, okay? So if any of these piles are resonating, um, definitely choose that pile, okay? Um, whatever you're drawn to, feel free to choose two piles if you wish, or three. Um, just, you know, trust your intuition on this one, okay? But we're going to start off with the malachite, so I'm just going to move these over. Okay, so let's see. If you guys chose this crystal here, let's find out. How does your person currently feel about you? Okay, so we have judgment. We have expansion. A lot of blue here. We have the page of pentacles. The five of cups. We have the wheel of fortune. We have powerless. And we have you're so beautiful. All right, so just give me a moment to tap into this energy and we'll see how your person is currently feeling about you. Okay, so right off the bat, what I'm feeling, and this is what I was getting with the blue energy, is that I strongly feel that this person that you're thinking about really wants to talk to you, but they feel like they can't. Um, so either they're in a situation where they just feel like they, they can't, it could be their own self-limiting beliefs, or maybe you put them in a position where they can't talk to you. So maybe you block this person or maybe you shut them out somehow, but I'm getting this energy of there's a lot that this person wants to say, and I feel like they want to reach out to you. So what they're feeling right now is they want to reach out to you. They want to make you an offer. Um, but I feel that this person right now is really being hard on themselves. So they're in this sort of regret energy with the five of cups. And then even I see this judgment card and I feel like this is almost like a self judgment. Like they're judging their actions. They're judging the decisions that they've made and not necessarily in a positive way. I feel like this is sort of the way that they're thinking about this situation and whatever happened between the two of you, they're looking at it from this position of negativity. It's almost like it's making them feel worse, the way that they're viewing the situation. And the situation might not be as bad as they're viewing it, but this is how they're feeling. Okay, they're really in this regret. So whatever they did to you or said to you or didn't say or didn't do, they're regretting it. Okay, they're really feeling the loss of you and there's this strong desire to like communicate this and express. It's like they have all these things that... I feel like if this person had an opportunity to say something to you, it's like everything would flow out of their mouth so fast because there's so much that they have been holding back. Um, I do think this person watches you a lot or observes you from afar though. Like they definitely see you in this positive light. They find you extremely beautiful with this card here. Um, but they're waiting for the right time when it comes to this connection with the Wheel of Fortune here because right now there's something that's got them in this like very powerless energy. And I don't know if it's like a physical situation where they actually feel powerless. You know, like I said, like if you block this person, okay, that would make them feel powerless. Um, maybe they're in a different situation where they feel like they actually can't come towards you or it could just be self-limiting beliefs. Like they might just have a lot of fears that are making them feel powerless when it comes to um, almost reconciling with you because I do feel like there was probably a falling out and this person does want to come back together with you, does want to reach out. There's a lot that they want to say. Like that's the big message I'm getting here is that I feel like if you were to talk to this person, if you had the opportunity to, you would notice that they would just blurt out so many things so fast because there's so many things that they've been wanting to say that they've been holding back. Okay. So pile one, I know this wasn't a long one, but that's actually what I'm getting. So it's pretty, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, if you chose this pile here, 
could be i'm just gonna throw this out there real quick for some of you guys could be you could be dealing with an earth sign or a water sign okay cancer pisces scorpio uh virgo taurus capricorn doesn't have to be i'm just throwing that out there but i see that coming through more more earth energy but um that's just an additional point okay so if that resonated definitely comment down below but if you want to book something personal with me my information is in the description box Okay, so let's move on to the rose quartz. So if you guys chose this crystal here, this is one of my, this is actually my favorite crystal ever. <laughs> um, but let's take a look and see. So how do they feel about you, this person? We have discipline. We have renewal. The queen of cups. The moon. The cherry. Okay, right off the bat, I'm getting a lot of hidden feelings. They have a lot of feelings for you, but they hide them, is what I'm hearing. I miss holding you. Okay. Okay, this person is doing everything in their power right now to like withdraw. It's almost like, okay, so if you notice here, this renewal energy, this woman is sitting here with her eyes closed and she's trying to meditate. So there's something going on where this person is thinking about you a lot and they have this desire to just move towards you with this chariot card very quickly, but they're, they're exercising this sort of discipline where they're like, no, I need to calm myself and I need to approach this fairly or I need to approach this calmly so there's this strong desire to just rush towards you but what they're doing is they're trying to calm themselves down and make or take appropriate action after they're calm so I don't know if this person's upset or if they're just anxious but there's this energy of they're deliberately trying to manage their mind so their mind can be taking them in all different directions when it comes to this connection they might be they might have um worries about you worries about the connection worries about themselves and i feel like this person in general right now is going through this process of change okay so they are going through this major process of change um with the renewal card they could be coming out of something and really um you know shifting and sh yeah shifting their energy at this point okay so it's like they're wanting to make more conscious choices when it comes to the connection rather than just impulsive maybe this person has a bit of an impulsive streak and they they do feel that impulse to come towards you or to move this situation fast but they're trying to hold themselves back okay and we do have the trapped card here as well so there could be something that is holding them back physically so there is this stuck energy when it comes to you but I feel like this trapped energy is more their own emotions. It's like they're trapped in their own emotions when it comes to you. They don't express a lot of what they feel, okay? But there's a lot of feelings here, guys. Look at this. This person has a lot of deep feelings for you. So we have the Queen of Cups and we have the Moon. Um, but these feelings are deeply hidden. So for some of them, maybe they're not even completely aware of the feelings that they have because they're not super connected to them but I feel like they're going to start to become aware of them. The more that they quiet down, the more that they're gonna be able to feel these emotions come to the surface. But if you're wondering, do they have feelings for you? They do, but a lot of you might not know that because they're very good at hiding it. I'm also hearing that this person, they might try to hide their feelings because the more they show them or the more that they feel their feelings, the more trapped they feel internally. So the more trapped they get in their own mind. Like some people, um, the more attached they get to someone, the more it brings up this fear and like this uh, trapped energy within themselves. It's like a fear that comes up that's almost paralyzing. So um, I also see that coming through here as well. I feel like this trapped energy for some reason is related to their emotions. It's like this person has a lot of fear about getting too attached to the situation, okay? They miss holding you, so if you had um like physical contact with this person or if you guys were together before they miss holding you if you didn't this person is definitely thinking about that okay it's like they want to be around you they want to be near you they want to be able to touch you and hold you okay that's what they're thinking right now but like i said a lot of them might be deliberately just holding back until their energy is more calm and balanced okay so that's what i have for pile number two. Oh yeah you guys could be dealing with a water sign okay um, all right, so let's take a look and see we're gonna move on to pal three if this resonated though definitely comment down below and Let us know uh, But let's move on to pal number three 
So if you guys chose this crystal here, the opalite, let's see, how do they feel? Okay, we have honesty, complacency, the ten of wands, the two of wands, the six of swords, we have guilty, and we have trust me. Okay, so this pile, I'm just going to say right off the bat, is very different than the first two. Um, very different energy. Okay, so right off the bat, what I'm getting is that in the past, this person lied to you. I don't, know, I don't know what they lied about. I don't know if they cheated on you. I don't know if they just told you a white lie, whatever it may be. But they weren't honest with you in the past. Now, there is a guilt, okay? They do feel responsible for that. Um, because I feel like with this trust me card here, they know that they broke your trust. Okay. The other thing I'm getting here is this is something that this person does though. It's like, it's kind of part of who they are, um, at least at this point in their life. Like this is someone who maybe isn't the most reliable. Maybe this is someone who doesn't have a lot of personal integrity to start with. So if they did lie to you, I don't feel, it's not like a personal thing. It's more of a this is kind of how they are. They have a tendency, to, I'm hearing that they have a tendency to do this with lots of people. They're just not honest. They're just not an honest person. There is a guilt that's coming up though. And like I said, they do know that they broke your trust. But I feel like this person is, can I be honest, guys? This person, they're not, they're not, fo they're not putting any energy into this anymore. Like this is someone who, feels like this connection or something about this connection is just too much. Um, I feel like they're looking at other opportunities right now. They're seeing what else is out there with this two of wands, the ten of wands. It's too much for them right now. Six of swords. This is someone who's moving on, who's distancing themselves. And even the complacency card, you know, the word complacent is someone who is just not, um, not fully there like you know they're complacent they're not there they're not investing they're not doing anything um they're it's kind of it's similar to like an indifferent type of energy where this person is just not not fully there with you if this pile is not resonating definitely check out the other piles they're completely different but i'm just going to tell you if you chose this pile and you feel like this is how this person's feeling then this is just a confirmation um like i will say if they weren't honest with you they do they do feel guilty but i see this person just deciding to move on from it um, for whatever reason, they felt like it was too much for some of you though. I feel like you might've challenged this person. So you might've challenged them to be more honest. You might've challenged them to be more upfront with you. And it's just, and that's a good thing. Like, you know what I mean? Like that's not a bad thing. So if this person feels like it's too much for them, that's more of their problem. I feel because the energy that I'm getting is this is someone who has issues with being honest and you might've brought that up to them and they weren't willing to change for you. You know what I mean? So it's like this person felt like, oh, this is too much. I can't lie to this person. Because I get the sense that this is someone who does this a lot. Like, like they, they get away with lying. So if you were the one who kind of said, no, like you're not going to lie to me or you're not going to do this. It's like instead of respecting your boundary, it just became like, oh, this is too much work and I'm just going to leave. Does that make sense? So they probably started, they probably stopped putting in the effort, stopped working on this. Um, and now they're just kind of looking for other opportunities where they can just go back into the dynamic where they don't have to actually change themselves. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing for pile number three. All right. Um, so I do hope that this reading resonated. Um, if this pile specifically did definitely comment down below. If you want to book your own personal reading, my information is in the description box, um, down below as well. All right. So I'm sending you absolute love and light. And I wish you all the best on your journeys. Take care.